In this video, I want to start setting it up so when we click on our item in the shop, like so, I want it to move over to our own inventory. So currently, as you can actually just saw, it is just going through and using it. So if we look at our health, we are now at 60 because I clicked it six times. So we obviously do not want that effect. Instead, what we want to happen if we view the inventory item, when we click on the, the item, we call use item. Well, we want to kind of have a different route of being able to test this. So we want to check and see if the item is in a shop. If it's in the shop, we can pass in a boolean to this use item function to tell us what to do inside of, obviously, the use item function. So what we're going to do is obviously we need to pass in a boolean but we need to figure out a way to tell this inventory item widget if it's controlled or if it's used by a shop so let's go ahead and create a simple function and let's call it set in shop and this is just going to set a boolean is in shop to equal true or false so default value i want it to just be false but for is in shop we simply set is in shop to true. So now if we head over to the, let's go to the UI first. We go through, we call the inventory, go to the shop. Okay, let's go to our inventory, no, our shop inventory. We go to, we should have a function here for, there's clear shop inventory, add shop items, this one. When we go through and we iterate through all of them, we go through, we call add item on the inventory. Let's go ahead and pass in a boolean to this add item function that we can pass into, let's see. I'll set new and update. I'm trying to, where in the world am I going? Trying to follow along with what all I was just doing, so I'm a little bit confused. Okay, we get access to the shop inventory. After we clear it, we iterate through, we add each individual item. That item gets plugged into set new and update item data. Okay, so that's handling of that. So we're not actually going through with that route. Instead, what we are doing is we are just updating a specific no we are doing that okay so i see we're passing in the new item so let's go ahead and back to shop inventory add shop items we call add item that goes to the actual inventory so we need to pass in the boolean to add item as well and that simply the target is the where's the target get the child at okay i see so this guy right here after we cast we want to set it as to whether or not we're using a shop item so let's pass in a boolean to add item and by default again it's going to be false so it is shop item let's grab this cast for the inventory item set in shop and honestly, I think it would probably be easier and cleaner if we just pass the boolean directly into here instead of having the branch on add item. So let's pass in a boolean to this function. In shop, let's give it that name and plug it in. So now we have this boolean here. So let's just plug it into is, is shop item. We can just plug it in literally directly like so. And that should take care of, well, that obviously if we need it. So now in our shop inventory, we have this Boolean here. So we add shop items. Obviously we want it to, we want it to be true. So let's compile and save that. Let's go to our inventory item. Let's find out where we have our button and I want to print it out. So let's perform, well, we need to do our normal casting, but I want to do a normal or not a normal, I want to actually just simply do a test. I want to print out a string. And that string I want it to be is in shop. So when we click on an item, let's pick up 
a couple of these and go here. So I click on an item, false. Click on an item, false. Click on these, true and true. So we know that that is working. So that's good. So now we can get rid of that, plug that back on in and move it again like so. So now we want to modify our use item to take in a Boolean. So pass in bool is shop item like so. so let's add this to the header like so and by default i just want to pass in false so that way you know adding in or passing in that parameter is not needed if we don't have to but regardless because we're calling it from blueprint it's gonna be there anyhow so we go through item subclass blah 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 we get it we call the use and if we go to the use what we can do is well, modify it. So currently each function has their own use, so to, or not each function, each class. So like food, we remove hunger. Med pack, we add health, that kind of thing. So what I want to do is in our item.cpp, or sorry, in the food.cpp as well, and everything like that, we're going to call super. But inside the use function, I want to do that check. So inside of the use function, let's go to the header. So we are overriding use, so that means it is in our inventory. Let's go to our, or sorry, not our inventory, our interactable interface. Let's go to that. Here's our use function. Let's pass in that Boolean. So bool is in shop. And by default, I want to set it to false. Go back to item.h, pass in that parameter. Go to that function and again pass in the parameter like so and if is in shop we do also a character check so is in shop and character make sure that's valid we do character add inventory item and what we want to do is we want to simply pass in the item data because we are using this struct to pass around as an item. So now that we've done that, we want to make sure we call super so that way this code here runs. So let's find our other functions. We also need to pass in that parameter as well. So let's go to our food.h, pass in b as in shop, like so. We gotta do that to gold. and med pack Alrighty, once all that's done we can do the same thing down here to the dot cpp like so close down the headers we have our med pack we just need to do the gold and the food like so so now all i have to do is call super so super use and that will run this code here to add it to the inventory based upon the result so then the only thing we want to do if character and not is in shop then we will add it well we will make use of the item so we don't need to worry about gold because we're not doing anything but food we want to do it as well and I think it's just med pack and food. Oh yeah, med pack we gotta call super. So basically if you don't know what super is gonna do, super is gonna go through and call back to the parent. So it's gonna call this use from our item a item class, the base class, and it's gonna run this code inside of it. So that's just kind of the simplified version. And then the only thing we need to do for use item is just pass in is shop item to our use and that should take care of the rest. So let's close this down and give it a recompile and see what happens. Alrighty, let's reopen. Go to our inventory item, graph, and pass it in. So we want to pass in instant shop to that boolean like so. And let's just see. So we pick up a normal item. It appears we can use it. Great. Use the shop, click it, and it appears. Click it again, 
and we're just adding onto the stack like so. So we're adding it and it's adding it to the correct slot. We close it, do it again, and we can use it. So let's confirm that it's not screwing with our health. So I spam these, close it, and our food and health has been untouched. I go to our inventory and let's just use all seven. And there it takes effect. So we are transferring the items over. Now the only thing we have to do is update this as well. So we are also, we have the, let me actually, it's been a little while since I've looked at this. So if we have our other server, we have authority, that's fine. Otherwise we call, let's see, is this the authority check? Yes it is, we call server use item. Server use item then goes through and calls us use item. I pass in the subclass again. So we want to make sure we repass in whether or not the item is a shop item. So that way we can, you know, definitively use it on the server. We can make use of it. So we're essentially calling use twice, so to speak. So let's copy this Boolean and we're going to pass that into the server as well. And pass it into our use item. So is shop item. And then the only thing we have to do is pass it into this header. So, like so. So that should take care of that. And then where we call the server use item, we just pa simply pass in is shop item. So this should hopefully make it work on the client and keep everything synced. So let's recompile and relaunch. Alrighty, let's give it a try. Let's play as... Uh, let's just do... Well, we'll change the net mode to client and play. So now we should be a client on the server. Well, let's confirm that this still works. Should just fine. One, one, two. Go to inventory. And when I press E, nothing is happening. Okay. Access none. Trying to read W underscore UI for the inventory. So it's as if the inventory is not even created on the client. So I open it, close it. Open it, I can close it. Press E, nothing. So that's where we get that issue. Does it happen when we open it normally? Open, close. Oh, it does not. So it's only when we view the inventory. So I press E, close it, and we get the access none. So let's try to see why that may be. So if we go to our begin play, you need to get that to go away. Alright, that's interesting. Oh well. So we do an is locally control check. If that's true, we go ahead and create and set our UI widget that is being plugged in. And we call open shop. So that would be in our interact function. So let's go ahead and step through our interact function real quick. Whatever that may be. Down farther? Yeah, I guess it's down a little bit farther. Use item, here it is. So if we're not the server, we call server interact. Server interact then goes through and calls interact, passing in start and end. So that'll call this function here. Go through. And what we're doing is we are calling it on the server, but the server does not know what it is. So we need to modify this a little bit. So we're having kind of a dilemma where we're trying to open the inventory, or sorry, the shop on the server from the client, which is, you know, causing an issue. So what we could do is we could confirm of what we hit and bring it down to the client or we could do a dedicated cast to it, which might honestly be a better route to go just in case. So the way we want to handle this is by a simple cast to confirm whether or not it is the shopkeeper. If it's the shopkeeper, you know, we don't want to do anything. So we'll just kind of, I guess you could say, forget about it. So what we're going to do is if get world, you know, we do the line trace, all that fun stuff. We're going to do a check. So if... Let's do a shop keeper. Shop keeper equals cast a shop keeper from hit result dot get actor. We want to return and not run the remaining cast for the interactable, but instead 
we do shopkeeper interact and pass in this. So what we can do inside of here as well is do a locally controlled check because we only want this to run on ourselves. So we can kind of do both. So let's copy that. Do a if is locally controlled. That'll be the first check. Then we get the shopkeeper to cast it and we paste it in for the next check. So to confirm that it is valid. So we are checking if we're locally controlled which should be true in our case because we're going to go through here and if has authority we're calling it anyway so that doesn't matter so that'll be fine otherwise we call interact ourselves and pass and start and and like that and then we call the server so this will kind of handle it for us so this should fix that on the client so let's go ahead and do our hot reload or live coding and now play again as a client press E and now it opens I hit close close that and we still have that issue there as if it's trying to run on the server which it should not be because of this check so what I'm gonna do is I want to print out a log and see how many times this is running so you log log temp warning text opening shopkeeper bring up the log press E and opening once and that's just fine so not exactly sure why it would even be attempting to add it a second time so we obviously have some replication issues that we are going to have to go through and work out in one of the future videos and that still will not go away. So let's see. When we call the use function, we are using it essentially on the server, which can cause a problem. Well, it shouldn't because we are passing in whether or not as a shop item ourselves that way. So we'll just have to figure it out. So we'll deal with that later. Anyhow, that is going to be it for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patreons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos, such as this one. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.